Hey everyone, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with another knitting tip for you today. Um, a lot of people, when they start knitting, get really excited about a couple different kinds of projects, specifically scarfs and infinity scarves. Um, mostly because it's the easiest thing to make in knitting. You just work, you do your cast on that you finally mastered, you just keep cranking through your knit stitch or whatever stitch you're doing, all the way down your scarf, and then when it's finally long enough, you bind off and you've got a project. You can really make any scarf into an infinity scarf. If you're a beginner, your scarf might look like this. Um, this stitch, if it looks familiar for newbie knitters, this is called garter stitch. This is when you knit every single row of your piece all the way down and then you bind off and it looks something like this. So to make this into an infinity scarf or cowl, there's a few things to know. Um, a couple of vocabulary words if you want to get fancy with your knitting. Um, one thing you can do to, to make your scarf into an infinity scarf is to seam your cast on and bind off ends using something called the mattress stitch. That results in an invisible join, but it has a little bit of a seam. So if that sounds exciting to you, you can search All Free Knitting for a tutorial on how to do the mattress stitch. Another way to join the two ends of your scarf to form an infinity scarf is something called the Kitchener stitch. But if you're using the Kitchener stitch, you're gonna wanna make sure you know that going into your project. So before you even cast on, you would wanna do something called a provisional cast on so that you don't actually do a traditional cast on or bind off. You do a provisional cast on which leaves the loops of your stitches open so at the end of your work, instead of binding off, you'll do a Kitchener seam to join the ends. So if you're looking for a tutorial for that, just make sure to search for Kitchener stitch bind off garter stitch if you're looking at a stitch like this. But all that aside, what I wanna show you today is a very beginner friendly basic way to seam any scarf into an infinity scarf. And so what we're gonna do here is embrace the seam. You'll see that I've got my scarf in this beautiful navy color and my yarn that I'm working with is this nice golden color. So it'll stand out really nicely against the navy. And so we're gonna kind of embrace the seam here today. I've got my needle threaded um, and the yarn is about four times as long as my cast on and bind off length. And what I've done is I folded my yarn over through my yarn needle, which is also called tapestry needle. It's blunt on the tip and has a big eye to accommodate the larger size of the yarn we're working with. I folded that yarn over and secured the far end with a knot. So what we're gonna do now is find the corner of our work, which will be right about here, this last loop, and I'm going to sew through it, and I'm going to catch the knot at the other end of my yarn loop, and sew through that to get it all started. And if you wanna hide that lump of that knot inside your project, that's probably not a bad idea. But since we're embracing the seam, who cares? There's something very freeing about just going for it when it comes to craft projects. So we've got our yarn started, and what I'm gonna do, it's this is sort of like a whip stitch um, in that we're gonna go from underneath to above the stitch across from where we've started, and we're gonna keep, and we're gonna do that again on the other side. So the key to keep in mind here is that we're not going for extreme perfection and we're doing something that's sort of like a whip stitch to get those ends connected in our work. And I wanna make this even more visible so I'm just gonna keep going around and around so we get that beautiful yellow color visible in our work. And the key here is really to make sure that you're lining up stitches so that you're not moving down one end of the scarf faster than the other. And so as you work, just make sure that the two other corners that you're aiming for aren't getting kittywampus, that you're not sewing through too much fabric on one side versus the other. So let's just keep on whipping all the way down like so and I'm gonna go kind of quick for the sake of demonstration. 
but you can go ahead and take your time if you'd like if you want to get those stitches perfectly parallel but I'm gonna keep going quick 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 so that I can show you how to secure this at the far end all right we're almost there and our corners are still lined up so since they're lined up let's go through both of those at the very end and what we're gonna do is bring the needle back through catch the loop to tie a little knot and then to keep this all secure we can sew back through pretending that my stitches are a little bit more dense than this we can sew back through here and we'll trim the tail and we've got ourselves an infinity scarf if you want to make this an infinity scarf um, that's mobius style all you've got to do is before seaming this twist your scarf just once and that'll help it lay a little bit taller if you prefer that look in your knitting so this is a great beginner friendly project for getting your very first knitting project off the ground and successfully finished into something you'll actually wear good luck and don't forget to tune in again soon for more knitting video tutorials Thank you.